Hello and welcome to a full 2021 month by month energy and star sign reading or a month by month full breakdown. So what we will do, <laughs> can't talk, what we will do is we look at your star sign, your individual star sign, month by month by month and see what we can um, ascertain about 2021. Um, to give you, in a way, not only a better idea of what's to come, but also hopefully equip you by giving you a uh, heads up um, with ideas how to prepare, or, uh, yeah, it's probably the best way to say it, uh, how to prepare for situations that, that, that may arise, okay? What will happen is this. As you know, if you are um, a subscriber or a regular viewer, everything has an overall energy. And so before we go into your star sign and look at months by months by months what's going on, we will still have to look at the overall energy, which is what we're doing now. Now, the overall energy for 2021 applies to all star signs. So should you be a person that says, I'm that star sign, and then I'm going to watch this for my friend, who is that star sign. Um, you will notice that the overall energy video, this, this little clip before we go into the individual star signs, has been used for all the 12 star signs, because the overall energy simply doesn't change <laughs> for, uh, from star sign to star sign. What does change is obviously the energy within the star sign. Speaking of which, um, the monthly um, videos that we do, uh, well, I should probably rephrase that, the weekly videos that I normally record with or without guests will continue because as nice as this is to have a look at projecting based on the energy that the guides give us, um, when we do um, a weekly video, it is a tad more specific and maybe a tad deeper. So don't miss this. Please subscribe. Please share um, if that makes sense. So and now we're looking at the overall energy for 2021. Since this is a long year, um, we're going to break this up a little. So we're looking into what the energy of the year is actually going to be like and see what the guides tell us <clears throat> because it might just change again uh, with the seasons. And then we look into um, all the other things like, you know, what, what can you expect uh, with um, regards to any uh, business ventures you want to undertake, um, love, and then whatever else the guides bring, bring up, if that makes sense. So let's have a look at what we can expect from 2021 to begin with, if that makes sense, right? Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, 2021, energetically speaking, feels or will be actually much better than 2020. Well, that's easy because 2020, by all accounts, was absolute shit. <laughs> right? So here's what the guys tell us about 2020. What they're asking us to do is to remember that as someone spiritual, you will have realized already that you create your energy. And if you make life the best it can be, that also filters down to anyone and everyone you meet. And that's what the guides are saying to you. In 2021, new portals will actually open. This will be a much more spiritual year. This will be a year where we connect much better to our guides, which is also needed because don't be a sheeple. Seriously, pay attention. Feel what's going on, uh, on on the planet, right? And bring your energy to the world to um, counterbalance any panic that you see around you, you know, um, the negativity that, that, that is sort of unfortunately happening in this, in this world. Really, really important, but new doors will be open, will be opening, really, really important. 
And when new doors are open, you still have to decide whether or not you want to walk through. And that's what the guides are saying. Be a bit of a wild card in 2021. Try new things because they will be rewarding and you will be rewarded, if that makes sense. It sounds a bit weird, but that's just how my guides phrase it, for your bravery. So, and then the most important thing as the energy for 2021 is for all of us, including myself, everybody, you know, it's the overall energy, you know, is to, <laughs> this is what the, what, what the, 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 the card says, and I think it's quite nice, surrender to the sweetness of life. So you create your own energy, keep your energy high, love life, embrace life, and bring that energy to 2021. Um, it's not really rocket science, but what they're saying to you is, or to us is, and we will have a look obviously uh, a little bit deeper into 2021 in a minute, but because the overall energy tells us that it is up to us individually to bring about an energy shift, it's not the easiest thing to do. And, and where do you start? You start with yourself. You start with saying like, yay, life is great. And you do all your weird things that crack you up. Really important if you, you know, have reasons to crack up in the morning. I've been doing this for years. I just do something silly in the morning and it cracks me up. No end. <laughs> and um, and it, 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 it works for me. Because 2021, energetically speaking, is actually a year of pleasure. A year of joy, which we so badly need. Now, that doesn't mean that the, the governments of this world um, won't continue uh, scaremongering, you know, rolling out vaccinations and scaring the shit out of people, <laughs> right? Or coming up with new restrictions. <clears throat> Who knows? The point the guides are making is, even though you may not be able to change what a country, let's just say, imposes on you, within all that, you can make an awful lot of change. And they're saying to you, the higher your energy is, the more joy you feel. Um, and, and 2021 will support that. This is a year of joy. So it's like, yeah, and we got this. And so the energy will be reflecting that very idea of, of having f fun, having joy, having pleasure. Because that creates high energy, and the higher the energy, the easier it is to make changes, to bring changes to the life <coughs> we're all living, or to the lives we're all living, right? So, the reason why this is a bit vague is because everything is always in flux. So when people say like, oh, that's, that's definitely what's going to happen in 2021, my experience is that you can never really uh, say like, that's definitely what's going to happen because... You, have, you also have free will. You could, personally, decide against it, if that makes sense. So, this is overall energy. And again, within it, you have to see what's, what's going on. Um, it will be much clearer. It will get much clearer, I suppose, um, when we look at the individual star signs anyway. Um, when we look at, you know, what's, what's going on there. But let's just have a look at certain things for 2021. And... People somehow, you know, somehow feel, seem to be really interested in 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 their their businesses. Oh, I want to be more successful, and I get that. But success is a weird thing, in that it doesn't necessarily define you. What it probably brings you is this financial stability, and maybe allows you to do what you want to do, and that's all good. And we're gonna look at this, but. Energetically speaking, it is much more important that you, as a spiritual being, trapped in a body, <laughs> so to speak, um, have a sense of belonging and a sense of being loved. So let's just look at what 2021 holds for us on, a, on an emotional level um, with regards to To yeah, yeah, to be to to love and being to being loved, right? So we have the totem, the dove, and the cat. Interesting, because remember, in the beginning of this um, 
video, the guides were saying that new portals are opening and that it is important that you make it your, your own. And totem, for want of a better word, means family, means tribe. So 2021 is the year, and this is awesome, where you will find your tribe and where should you have already found it. Relationships within your tribe are much better, which also means that relationships on a love, uh, um, love level um, will get much more solidified, which is really, really good. And there's a couple of interesting things because you have the dove and, and the cat. So what they're, oh, this is again, you know, you have free will, that's, so that's why I see this as a suggestion. Um, even, but it's based on the fact that the energy supports that. Because we have the dove and the cat with regards to love and being loved and belonging somewhere, right? Be peaceful. Don't argue because it's a, diff it's a difference between mm, speaking your mind, speaking your truth, expressing yourself and getting irate and angry and upset about it, which ultimately lowers the energy a little. Well, if, there, if an argument is heated or, or, or even a conversation is heated, energy always suffers a bit. <laughs> but what they're saying is in 2021, just pay attention to your energy at all times. And because we're talking about love and being loved and the feeling of, you know, how do I, how do I, how do I keep this up? How do I make sure that the person I love is supported by me? And the person I love or the people I love support me. And this may or may not be surprising to some of you because we have the cat. And what they're saying is in any relationship, and that includes work, but we're not talking about work now, we're talking about love. In any relationship, it is important that you remain yourself. And because you have the cat, what they're saying is, do your own thing as well, right? Make time for relationships. I also have the feeling we have to sort of, in a way, prioritize our relationships. So it's not that you can just do whatever the heck you want, well, you could, but you know, you do whatever the heck you want and then you wonder why the relationship is falling apart. So they're asking you to pay attention to the, to the needs, if that makes sense, of the relationship. You know, maybe it is important that the, the, the people or the partner you're with um, needs a bit more of your time, right? So give that. At the same time, the cat is basically saying to you, if you are a person that has a hobby, if you are a person that, that um, works spiritually and therefore, you know, or, or, or even if you work as, as anything, <laughs> um, that is sort of your thing, sort of self-employed, um, or if you work for the better for the betterment of people, society, you know, all that kind of stuff, you will need time to look at what you're doing, um, <clears throat> fire, you know, come up with new ideas, all these kind of things. So what the guides are saying is, be the cat, remove yourself at times, and because this is your energy for the year, your partner will very likely or should really do the same and you can expect them to understand that you can't sit 24 7 uh, every single day with them on the couch and cuddle as nice as this is because you have a life to live and there are certain times in your life where the way you plan your life and the things you do in life may not meet the interests of your partner. And so this is not about compromising. This is about saying like, okay, I, this is what I enjoy doing as well. And just make space for this and um, be, be upfront about it. Don't try to hide something and don't try to, um, you know, don't let this become an issue, if that makes sense. But it is important that you have a little bit of, well, actually, because we have to get more than just a little bit of um of self-sustained me time within your relationships right okay so that's really 
that's that's really well, yeah, what it is for 2021 with regards to love. We quickly go into <coughs> work and business and all these kind of things. My feeling is I don't want to do half an hour just on the overall energy because that can be tedious in the fact that it is much more interesting to you if we look at your star sign and what it will bring months by month by month. But it is important to overall see if there's actually opportunities coming or not. So we're looking at opportunities for 2021 with regards to anything that is um, related to um, work and income and all that kind of stuff. And what the guides are saying to you is that we have to, you have to, you ought to balance spirituality and practicality. So you are a spiritual person and new opportunities will come to you because your energy is, is powerful, is awesome. But you have to also learn to realize that um, sitting under a tree doing om, hugging 25,000 trees is awesome, but it doesn't sustain you with regards to you know paying rent and all that kind of stuff. And what they're saying is, but balance it out. Best case scenario, and this has always been my take on it because I've had this life where I worked in many massively big companies um, and then I've been fully full-time self-employed since 2009. Before that I was part-time self-employed, if that makes sense. But since 2009 I've been not, I, I haven't been doing anything else but what I came here to do. So I feel incredibly blessed and that's what the guides are saying is if 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 you find it difficult to balance out spirituality and practicality then 2021 because this is one of the opportunities that they're talking about is the year where if you focus on that's what i want to do i want to be that person i want to be me then that's what the guides will support and then we have and this is interesting surrender to the divine says it all, trust that there is no coincidence, trust that your life has purpose, trust that there's guides around you that help you with everything. So don't get too upset about things. There will always be a million, a million and one ways to tweak things and to get somewhere. But with regards to opportunities that lead to... Um, a more secure life, if that makes sense. What the guides are saying is surrender to the divine opportunities will arise. Look at them for what they are. And first and foremost, um, remember we're living in a world where a lot of people really, unfortunately, are not all that awake. Um, they don't feel themselves, don't understand what is out there in the universe that could help them. They don't ask for guidance. They don't ask for help. And you are a person that has that down to a T. And so what the guides are saying is you're not here to save everybody. Even if you do spiritual work for a living, you can only offer if people take it, that's fine. If they ultimately are not there yet, there's not much you can do or should be doing because people have to be ready before they take that journey, if that makes sense. And all you can do is provide that lifeline that gets them there. So <clears throat> that's what, 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 what 2021 is energetically. Um, what I'm getting is before we, we sort of close down the overall energy and go into your individual uh, year, is to realize that spirituality being the best version you can be is exactly what is needed for 2021. And I believe, based on the energy that I'm getting, this is really about a counterbalance, creating a counterbalance to all the things that are happening in the world. You know, everybody, I think the only topic really in 2020 was, was, was bloody COVID, right? And um, all that kind of stuff, which obviously puts a big damper 
dampener on all of us. And then look at how many businesses have suffered because of it. Look how many restrictions there are. Um, people become more isolated and have become more isolated, which is not good, if that makes sense. And that's what the guy said earlier. Tribe. You will find your tribe. And you are part of the tribe. And so you, with your high energy, allow your tribe to do more than they were able to previously. So overall, the energy of 2021 is really high and it's a kick-ass energy. It's like do energy. It's not a do or die energy, but it's an energy where, they, where they're saying like, you know, we're sending you opportunities, but if you kind of sit there, I can't see them. Yeah, well, then you can't see them, right? Be proactive, be out there, have high energy, right? Do things. And doers always do best, okay? So, that was the overall energy. Remember, you will see this little clip for all, or for all, in, in all the 12 videos for the star signs because the overall energy applies to all star signs, therefore never changes, right? So, okay, that was that. And now we're looking into your own months by months breakdown, if the, for want of a better word, of your individual star sign. Yeah, let's do that. Hello Aries. Let's look at your 2021 months by months, starting with January. Here we go. So, your January is actually quite cool, or in other words, your, your 2021 starts off quite <clears throat> powerful, because what the guides are saying to you is that January 2021 for Aries is the best month ever, <laughs> if that makes sense, to really trust in the power of manifestation. So what they're saying is here that your life is a canvas. You create a new. Therefore, you have to allow yourself to have high energy. I refer to the um, overall energy that preceded this part of the reading. Um, so remember, you have to have high energy. But this is the best time for you um, to manifest and create a future and a life that you really want, because <clears throat> as the guys show up here, um, you have, in other words, the, the universe's deep love for you, your guide's deep love for you, um, will carry you through January as you manifest. The trick is not to necessarily think about all the things that need to leave just yet. Um, so sometimes, you know, you do these things where you kind of go, I want this to go and this to happen. And then oftentimes this to happen is not quite there yet because whatever needs to go is quite difficult. And all the guides are saying is, let's leave this, whatever needs to go, for a bit. Let's just focus on what it is you truly want <coughs> and manifest it, okay? So manifestation is the order of the day in January for Aries going into your February. February 2021 for Aries. Yeah. It continues on because you have the Grey Squirrel and the Muldeer. What they're saying to you is your manifestation in January will take on a life of its own. <clears throat> you're trying to manifest or you are manifesting, but you're not hmm, giving it enough time to actually come to life, if that makes sense. Um, for whatever it is you create um, to have time to ripen before it can um, arrive at yours, if that makes sense? Because you have the grey squirrel, which basically means you have loads of ideas, but you don't stop. So you lose some of them. That would probably make sense. So all they're saying is don't get lost in, um, in 
I want this to happen and this to happen and this to happen and this to happen. Um, and don't get lost in, in difficult thoughts, if that makes sense, in your February. Because you have to move the air. What they're saying is, use January, really do that. Use January to properly manifest. Really, really important to do manifestation uh, a lot. And in February, they're asking you already um, to, um, to take a break. To not be too fast in inverted brackets about when the new life that you're graving um, will actually arrive, right? So they're asking you to take it a little bit more more easily, right? Um, in February, okay. That was February for Aries, going into your March, March 2021 for the star sign of Aries. Okay, yeah. Okay, what is interesting about what I'm seeing here is, <clears throat> because they already asked you in February, you know, to, um, to rest a little, March is going to be hmm, your month where you are being asked to remember that with growth comes a new awareness, and new awareness can be overwhelming. And so they're asking you to be grounded at all times and therefore go deep and also explore your roots. So if past life regression uh, comes your way, if meditation comes your way, that would be very welcome. If it is not in your consciousness yet, then that is something to look at. How do I meditate? Google a place near you where people probably run a circle or something or even find videos on YouTube kind of thing. The point the guides are making is because they ask you to explore your roots <coughs> going within is powerful but my feeling is that it will help more if you actually find a way to properly meditate to actually go deeper if that makes sense because what they're asking you to have in May in, 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 in March sorry what they're asking you to have in March is solitude. Be as sounds wrong, but be as alone as you possibly can manage. Allow yourself to reflect on everything that happened in your life so that you can heal and get all that sorted. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> sorry, was just a postman brought me a post. Uh, a letter or a package that wasn't even for me so he had to take it with him <laughs> sorry about that <clears throat> so that was your march where the guides are saying to you have a bit of solitude reflect on what happened in your life <clears throat> and if possible go deeper right so meditation came to mind <clears throat> we're looking at aries 2021 months by months and we are now going into your April. Let's see what we got for April for Aries. Well, that makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> because after they asked you in March <clears throat> to take exploring your roots seriously, you will then and therefore very likely have triggered a lot of healing and in April that's when you take your first step into or onto a new journey and so what they're saying to you is deal with that stuff deal with stuff that is inside you um, especially in March and in April you begin life anew sounds a bit traumatic but that's how the guides make me feel it because what they're asking you to have in April is courage to start something <clears throat> with a newfound passion. So my feeling is that your life was somewhat halted or not fully going anywhere. And this is the way of the guide saying um, it's time you um, start anew. 
right? So that's in April. And also pay attention, my feeling is that, that, that come April, the guides will show you stuff in writing, right? So you will see opportunities in writing, okay? Let's go into May 2021. Let's have a look. Okay. What they're saying to you right now is to realize um, after a, a, a difficult start and in April, let's just say a new beginning, come May, they're asking you to already go with the flow. Don't overdo it. Don't find this has to be the right thing for me because whatever they whatever they show you, whatever you e eventually do, whatever you're really drawn to, it might not be the be-all and end-all. And all the guides are saying is, don't give up too easily when new opportunities come your way. See, th they're showing me this is all about spiritual journeys. This is not about work. This also isn't what they showed me so far about your life. It's also not about relationships. This is about relationship with yourself, your own relationship with yourself. And all they're saying is whatever life throws at you, you will be fine, <clears throat> but you need to learn to go with the flow. Okay, short and sweet for May. And now we're going into June. Okay, the way this all pans out in 2021 is that they asked you in January to, to go for stuff and um, you therefore start to um, manifest, then you go into the first set of solitude and healing, um, you know, then from there on you go and um, again manifest a new, go, go new no new ways and come June they're asking you to look at yourself and realize how important you are and to make your own growth and your own healing a priority okay to cut a long story short because this may sound all a bit vague the message really for Aries in the first six months of the year at least We'll see what, what, what the future holds, so to speak. Is to make everything about you and everything about your growth, everything about healing, um, exploring your roots, going deep within. And then in June, they're asking you to, to, to by realizing how important you are, you actually start to regenerate. You start to come back from whatever pain this awareness of whoa things are not as easy as i thought they would be or life is not as great as i thought it would be to come back from all this and um what they're asking you to realize is when this happens when you feel like whoa this is really heavy and may you may even feel you reach rock bottom what they're saying is that's a good place to be because from there on it can only get better and by june all the work that you did about, that was, that's just the way the guides say it, um, about finding yourself is now paying off. You will now realize in June that you have a purpose and that there is everything that happens sort of is divinely guided and that, again, the universe has got your back. And so um, th the way this feels to me is that the journey in itself feels a bit lonely. So there might not be enough people around you that are a proper support network. But that also will take care of itself because when you go the first step and, and earlier I said, you know, um, look at who runs a circle or something, you need maybe to find that circle and need to find your tribe. And you will, right? But in June, what they're saying is this is the time, you know, mid-year, 
where you realize how important you actually are and from there on you will really start demanding that you have people in your life who reflect your own values. Okie dokie, going into July, Okay, interesting because <clears throat> so far they haven't changed topic. You know, a lot of stuff can happen in a year, but in the case of, of the star sign Aries that we're in, they haven't changed topic. This is a real year for growth, for self-growth, for allowing yourself to let go of all the things that have held you back and, and kickstart a new you. And in July, it is no different. The difference is in the seventh months um, is for you to realize when you change, people will take notice. And not everybody likes change. And they can't read you when you change. And some people who are by default maybe very controlling, maybe even a tad narcissistic or even more than narcissistic tad, um, <coughs> don't like you changing. And what the guides are asking you to do is to step back a little so you're less, you're less reachable when they come for you. And remember your own strengths. One of the spirit animal guides that you have for July is the dolphin. And the dolphin is an animal that is strong enough with its nose to take on sharks. It doesn't make sharks bad animals, but you know sharks are obviously known for being large and, and, and even ferocious <clears throat> and the dolphin um, can easily take them on and redirect um, their aggression and so that's the the idea here because the dolphin is also about um, feminine energy so your best weapon is to have feminine energy should you be a gentleman watching this um, that just means that you know we all have a softer side, and it's not a bad thing to to um, just acknowledge the softer side. We don't have to be testosterone laden macho machos, if that makes sense. And they're asking you in July to be more aware of your softer side, um, and that's that. Right, that is July for Aries. Going into August, I'm drawn to a different deck. So in August, it feels like the first seven months of the year, um, even though there is constant growth, have taken a toll on you. You feel like, well, you know, I'm going through all these changes and all the guides are saying now in, in August, it is important for you to take a break from everything and focus on the things that you really like doing and then just pursue them. You know, it's like having a month off from whatever the universe is, is, is hitting you with <laughs> and just have, um, have fun and, and la love life, if that makes sense, because you have um, the cosmic heart, it's called, which means that, it sounds a bit weird, because it means if you move away from the things that 2021 brought to you just to get a breather you have to move away or you ought to move away with purpose right um, everything you 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 do or you ought to do you have to think about it so you don't just say like okay i've had it because that's not what the guys are saying all they're saying is it was a bit much and i'm still in the in the process of healing and finding out in the process who am i right now that things happened to you as aries um what am I left with? Who am I? And so <clears throat> if you make your life um, purposeful and you move with purpose, um, it is much easier uh, to not lose track of who you are. Okay? That was August going into September. And we're looking at the star sign of Aries. In September, the guides give you two birds. You have the osprey and the red-tailed hawk. Both of them are actually birds of prey. 
And so what they're saying to you in September, you will find a new strength. You will, you will have come back from anything that was difficult in the previous months by September. You will be in a much better place because the osprey is basically the animal that denotes that you have made a lot of progress. And the hawk is the animal that uses the upthrust of the air to glide, which means come September, you have got nothing to prove. You just feel better. And from there on, or from that moment forward, you again manifest a better life because you're in a much better place. Okay, that was September going into October. As you have noticed already that the whole year so far, I mean, we're going to, to October, um, is all about healing. This is a year where the guides are more or less relentlessly asking you to look at your trauma and let that go. In October, um, you have the grizzly bear and the elk. The grizzly bear is all about feminine energy, all about healing. So again, it's a month where they're asking you to, to look at, at healing, healing of self. And then you have the elk, which basically is an animal that, that, that has a split hoof. So as life gets difficult, the elk doesn't sink in. So what they're saying is as you go through to another huh, healing, it's not a healing crisis that I'm getting. What I'm getting is it's a, it's a healing it's a healing, it's almost like a, like, a, like a healing modality that you're in. Someone picks you up and helps you heal. Which is also why you have the elk, because the elk has antlers, which means you're fully protected. So in October, again, you're going to, to have to deal with healing, going into November. And in November you have the black bear and the crow, which means in October you had you had the brown bear, which means it's all about femininity and healing. And the black bear is the animal that tells you, come November, you have made a ton of progress with regards to your healing, and yet you are still transforming. The the healing, it's it's one thing to heal, and it's one thing to, to look at all the issues you have had in your life and they're not just talking about 2021 but what they're what they're bringing you is all the things that have happened so you can let that go if that makes sense so healing will hit you repeatedly this year and in november you are still going to transformation so you haven't and you, you mustn't expect to um to just get through it like clockwork and, and fast um, you have made tons of progress, you, you're in a much better place, but you need to allow for setbacks and the feeling of, whoa, will this ever end? Um, because that's what transformation is. We're kind of, I'm not quite sure where I'm going here, right? And it brings sometimes the feeling of, I've just had enough. And all they're saying is, don't give up, right? You're going through changes and you will get there. Let's have a look at the last months which is obviously December 2021. The last month of the year 2021 is still a difficult month. You have the red wolf, which is also known as the Ethiopian wolf, which means he lives in the desert. In the desert you have less opportunities, therefore it is much more difficult to run a pack right, and be successful at running a pack running your life and the life of those in your care or, the, or those who love. And all the guides are saying is because you have this animal that depicts being semi-boxed in, you have the horse. And the horse is the animal that denotes if I feel boxed in, maybe I haven't removed myself far enough <clears throat> from situations and or people that keep me in that space of dependency, codependency is what I'm getting. So 
that was your year. Um, what is interesting about the energy of your year, Aries, it sounds it sounded much more dreadful than it actually is because obviously they're reflecting um, and they're bringing up what the energy is like for Aries and all they're saying is this is your year where it is important for you to realize that things need to get back better and will get better provided that you acknowledge what has happened, that you acknowledge who is causing the problem so that you can find a way to actually fight, wrong word, but just the way it feels to me, fight all these situations and then you will have a much better chance of creating a new you. Okie dokie, Aries, that was your year energetically 2021. Thank you all for watching. See you soon.